I don't think they're dangerous, Bob. Have you heard that sound before, Pete? Yes, I think I have. But where? You'll know soon. There appears to be a wooden door ahead, sir. And it's open. The end of the tunnel. Come on. Where are we? We're trapped. We're in a cage. Oh, we're in a cage, all right. But we're not trapped. You recognize where we are, Pete? Yeah. We're inside the big cage where Mr. Rex raises his parakeets. Exactly. Terror Castle must lie parallel to Mr. Rex's house, with only a few hundred feet of rocky ridge separating them. The two houses are connected by a secret tunnel. I think we should pay a call on Mr. Rex. Okay, Pete. Ring Mr. Rex's front doorbell. Right, you. Do you think Mr. Rex has anything to do with the haunting of Terra Castle? We shall soon find out. Well, what is it? We'd like to talk with you, Mr. Rex. And supposing I do not wish to be bothered, boy? In that case, we shall have to call the authorities to investigate. Oh, no need for that. Come in. Come in. Thank you, Mr. Rex. This is my old friend, Charles Grant. How are you? Charlie, these are the boys who have been investigating Terror Castle. Well, boys, have you found the ghosts yet? Yes. We have solved the secret of the castle. Have we? We have. Indeed. And what is the secret? You two men are the ghosts who've been haunting the castle and scaring people away. And just a short while ago, you tied up Pete Crenshaw and me and left us in the dungeon under the castle. That's a very serious accusation, boy. And I'll wager you can't prove it. Look at the tips of your shoes. I chalked them with our secret mark while you were standing beside me, tying me up. But we were tied up by the old gypsy woman and the old Chinese... Both these men were connected with the film industry. They're masters of disguise. Uh, he's right. We were acting part of an imaginary gang of smugglers to give you boys a real scare. But I don't want you to think we actually intended to harm you. I was on my way back to untie you when your friends caught sight of me. We're not murderers nor smugglers either. We're just ghosts. Uh, but I am a murderer. I killed Stephen Terrell. Oh, that's right. You did away with him, but <laughs> that hardly counts. The police may think otherwise. Lads, I think we had better go and summon the authorities. No, oh, wait. Give me a moment and I'll let you talk to Stephen Terrell himself. You mean, talk to his ghost? Exactly. Talk to his ghost. He will explain to you why I killed him. Quick! Stop him! He's trying to escape! No, he's not! Don't worry, he won't be a minute. There is something he has to do. Good evening. I am Stephen Terrell. You wanted to see me? He really is Stephen Terrell. I get it! Mr. Terrell, you are also Jonathan Rex, the Whisperer, are you not? That is so. You have guessed my secret. When I attached this plastic scar to my throat, took off my wig and put on elevator shoes, I stopped being Stephen Terrell. I reduced my voice to a sinister whisper and became that frightening individual known as the Whisperer. I faked my own death, and I'd been trying to frighten people away from Terror Castle until, as Mr. Rex, I could raise enough money from breeding my parakeets to buy back the castle from the bank. I had almost succeeded, but I reckoned without the persistence of you boys. It was all quite harmless, and no one ever got hurt. No one got hurt? We almost got killed by that rock fall. Yeah, well, uh, th that was an accident. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I dislodged the rocks as I was uh, watching your movements. Charlie Grant is my lookout. Just at the entrance to Black Canyon, there's a small bungalow, barely visible. Charlie lived there. Whenever he sees anyone enter the canyon, he telephones me, and I hurry through the tunnel to be ready for them. He used to be my film makeup man. And he was the old gypsy woman who warned us off. 
How did you know who we are? I read about you winning the Rolls Royce in the papers. It's an easy car to recognize. Quite so, sir. But how did you manage to make Terra Castle seem to be haunted? I learned many tricks and special effects when I worked in movies. Trade secrets, but not difficult if you know how. Well, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? Mr. Terrell, do you still have the copies of all the wonderful scary films you made which no one has seen for many years? I do. I looked after them very carefully. Then I have an idea how you can get your castle back and still go on entertaining people by scaring them. How? Turn the castle into a special haunted cinema to show your old films. Show my old... You know, that might work. I'm sure it would. But now, we must prepare our report for Mr. Hitchcock. When the boys reported back to me, I had to tell them I had changed my plans and no longer required a haunted house. However, I have kept my word and introduced the story of their adventures. And, what is more, I suggested another mystery for them to solve, which I shall also introduce. The mystery of the stuttering parrot. Listen to that, if you dare.